Aaron Strite, Inc. sold under the name Strites is a kosher food company based in New York City, best known for its product Strites Matza. It is the only family-owned and operated matzah company in the United States and distributes matzah in select international markets. It holds about 40% of the United States matzah market with its major competitor, New Jersey-based Manischewitz. The factory follows strict kosher laws. Only Shomer Shabbat Sabbath observing Jews are allowed to touch the dough. However, once the dough is baked, people of any religion are allowed to touch the matzah. The entire process of making the matzah is under rabbinic supervision. In particular, they time the matzah making process, checking to see it does not exceed 18 minutes. Otherwise, the batch would be considered not kosher for Passover and discarded. History The company was founded in 1916 by Aaron Streit, a Jewish immigrant from Austria. Its first factory was on Pitt Street in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. There, Streit and his business associate Rabbi Weinberger made each piece of matzah by hand. In 1925, with the growing number of Jewish immigrants congregating in the Lower East Side, Streit, along with his two sons, moved his business to nearby Rivington Street. Soon thereafter they bought the adjacent buildings, where the company operated for 90 years, before moving in 2015. <laughs> Lower East Side Factory Streit's 47,000-square-foot matzah factory, along with Katz's Delicatessen and Yona Schimmel's Kanish Bakery, was a surviving piece of the Lower East Side's Jewish heritage. At the turn of the 20th century, Jews, along with other European immigrants, were crammed into the many unsanitary tenements of the Lower East Side. In 1915 they made up 60% of the Lower East Side population. Because of the large Jewish presence, Jewish-centric businesses like Streit's opened and flourished. However, because of the poor living conditions, as soon as they financially could, many Jewish families moved out of the tenements to new areas of industry in New York City, namely Uptown and Brooklyn, slowly making Streit's a relic of the past. Streit's Lower East Side matzah factory usually baked about 16,000 pounds of matzah each day. In preparation for Passover the factory ran 20 hours a day, testing its 30,000 pounds per day capacity. <laughs> New factory Since the 1980s the Lower East Side has experienced hyper-gentrification. The neighborhood is now a burgeoning area for glass luxury high-rise buildings such as the Blue Condo and the Hotel on Rivington, a stark contrast to Streit's modest brick factory. The Streit family even considered at one point to open a café or bar that serves matzah, to go with the Lower East Side's new nightlife scene. On December 20, 2007, it was announced that the factory had been listed for sale for $25 million. The Streit's family cited noise complaints, congested streets, and their desire to modernize its equipment, as the reasons for their eventual move. Its realtor, Massey Knackle Realty Services, commented, "...the building will most likely be torn down and converted into luxury condominiums." Midtown East-based Cogswell Realty bought the factory for $30.5 million in 2015. Cogswell closed on the properties, which together span roughly 50,000 square feet, in May 2015. Cogswell Lee Development and Gluck Plus, which is also the project's architect, are developing the condo building, and plan to festoon the lobby with Streit's memorabilia. The new Streit's factory is at 171 Route 303 Orangeburg, New York, consolidating all operations. The Matza factory that used to be in Manhattan and the warehouse and dry pack facility that is presently operating in New Jersey. These include bag and box mixes like the matzah ball and soup mix, potato pancake mix, and most of the other side items that have been made in Munaki, New Jersey for years. <laughs> Products Besides matzah, Streit's produces many other kosher products under its name. There are two lines of products, year-round products and budget products. They also operate a separate label of foods called Ethnic Delights, which is mainly condiments and seasonings. <laughs> 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 
Topic: List of products. Topic: See also. Yehuda Matzos Manischewitz <laughs>